Hey guys, it's Carl. Of course, we have every single iPhone in front of me of the new iPhone 14 line. And as a yearly tradition, we're gonna take a look at every single colorway just to check out, of course, what color you should grab. That's maybe one of the most important things to see. And every year I try to hook you guys up. This year is no different with a giveaway for a new iPhone 14. So just be sure to sub to the channel, leave a comment down below, but more importantly, follow me over on Instagram as that's where the main giveaway page will be. That's where it's a bit more legit verified. I know that YouTube is struggling with spam comments now, and I will only DM you through that social media site. So um, go follow me over there. That's my shameless plug. You'll see this post, leave that comment there as well. With that said, let's get into these boxes though. So some of the colors are similar to what we've seen. The new unique color is the new blue. And funnily enough, the blue iPhone has now changed in color every single year for the past three years and we've gone lighter in shade. I'll just place them there precariously. So iPhone 12 and 13. And as we see for our first unboxing, let's take a look at the new 14 blue. And as you can tell, we are getting way lighter. And from initial glance, you can see that the 13 and 14 look similar. Obviously we have a new redesigned camera from the 12. And other than that, it is pretty much identical in terms of the design. This is the only one which we'll take a look in the box because the rest of them are the same. So inside we have user manuals, warranty info, the one Apple sticker in white, and of course a USB-C to lightning cable. Unfortunately, we did not make that switch to USB-C only. I thought uh, maybe the 14s or even the 14 Pros to be honest would be that. And um, that is pretty much inside of the box. And so as you can see, this will be the only display that I power on because they're all technically the same. And I'm using that word a lot, the same for the display compared to the 13. So 6.1 inches, Super Retina XDR. It also has the exact same notch size, but the thing that's different is you can only get the 14 plus. So that's a 6.7 inch panel compared to the 13s when you saw the beloved mini. So the mini went away and we introduced a plus size, which will be available, I believe next week at some point, but that is the blue colorway. And I'm curious if I lined all of these up, which one is your favorite blue? So next off on deck, we're gonna switch on over to Starlight. And if you haven't seen Starlight before, this is kind of what it looks like. Once again, very white and I think slash I know the only starlight on this, according to Apple's colorway is the aluminum banding on the outside. And one little difference from the 14s to the 14 pros, for example, this has aluminum versus stainless steel on the pros. So the back of the starlight, this is pretty much in white, whereas the starlight, which I'll kind of name that as like a little champagne color. It's a little bit beige looking, but the majority of the device on the back is just in this white gloss glass. So this one's super clean, super minimal. And if you hate color, this and the next one, which we'll get to, which is Midnight, will be the next one. Moving on, like I mentioned, Midnight's, so this looks like it has a green and purple box. And if we take a look at Midnight, once again, it's pretty much black on the back glass and the hint of Midnight, which is almost black. It's like this really, really, really dark, dark blue. Think of like an ink color, hence maybe midnight. It's uh, it's pretty much black with maybe a hint of blue. That's the aluminum around the outsides. One thing I'll note though, the US models are the only ones that will have an eSIM. So us being up here in Canada, we still have that extra slot for our SIM card, which I actually personally like. I'm not too big of a fan of eSIMs and the rest of the device is the same. So that is midnight. Glossy black in my opinion, and of course the rails, aluminum rails around the outsides, those are in that midnight color. Once again, maybe that's another phone uh, for all you color haters out there. And we'll move on to the next one, which is in the middle here. So this is lilac. I think uh, Apple loves their purples. Pretty much every one of these boxes has like a hint of purple in it. Maybe um, purple was the winner this year, as we saw with the 14 Pro, 14 Pro Max, that did come in purple. Also deep purple. Here is the lilac. Once again, very pastel -y on the back, very light colorway. And on the sides, that's where you really see a bit more purple with the aluminum. I kind of dig this color, it's growing on me, but it seems just from this current lineup, a lot of these colors are quite muted compared to the more saturated colors that we've seen previously. And 
I might bite my words there because the last one that we'll look at is of course product red. And this, which I've seen in some photos before is the brightest. It's like I need like a sunglasses to protect myself. This is super bright. This is a really vibrant product red. So this new one is redesigned for this year. or I guess this color is redesigned. It really, really pops. And you'll see when I compare it to the other ones, how bright this is. One little note, the only difference for the unboxing inside of here, you get this little product red tab, just uh, so you know some of the proceeds are going towards fighting HIV and AIDS. So that's kind of cool. And that is product red and we'll kind of shift all these over. We'll move these boxes aside and we'll bring all of the 14 line kind of front and facing. And I mentioned very muted, maybe product red is uh, off to the side. So we do have the blue, of course, starlight white, Midnight Black and Lilac, which is the purple and of course product red at the end, which really stands out. So I'm curious, which of these models is your fave color? Which one will you get? Does that really matter? Cause I think a lot of people do rock cases, which I do want to intro this really cool one that I just got from Dbrand. So this is their grip case. And off the bat, I really loved this design on the back. This you can actually change up to be a color of your choice, but I do love the little hint of orange in the corner. And the nice thing about grip cases, this actually matches perfectly with a blue. So we'll slot this one in here. It kind of pops in easy and you have this nice little lip to protect the screen. And it does have this really nice grippiness to it. Of course, you've got the little plasticky edges on the side, which gives it that name grip and on the back, that nice pop of color. So if you are getting a new phone, obviously you want to keep it protected. But the first thing that you'll look at is the color. Everyone loves to see what color that they want to rock. And as a little bonus, I will bring in my iPhone 14 pro and pro max just for a little size reference. So of course, this is the new deep purple that everyone loves. This is my daily. You can see um, as I swipe up, I have good old Dynamic Island that is rocking right on the top. And remember, Dynamic Island is only coming to the pro lines. And you can see here, I'm just playing a podcast from Tiesto right now. So you can see the album art along with the little music waveform. Is it a deal breaker? I don't think so. The animations are cool, obviously on the iPhone 14 line, which I will bring, you can see it just has the good old standard notch. Is the Dynamic Island gonna change your life? Probably not, but of course it is a new piece of tech. I can guarantee Dynamic Island will probably come to the iPhone 15 line next year. That's typically how Apple rolls things out. They reserve their cooler innovations for their pro models, but Anyways, colors aside, this is deep purple. Of course, you can see on the outside, we have the stainless steel banding. And for the regular 14, I think I have the most popular one, the deep black, space black, deep black, space black. I was close. So out of all these models, which one are you getting? Want to bring this video super quick. And um, obviously just remember to follow me over on Instagram for that iPhone 14 giveaway. Um, hope you guys enjoyed all of my iPhone coverage. We've had a ton of content popping off. It's been long, just thanks. So, <laughs> I'm bl <laughs> blubbering. I'm stumbling with my words because we're just cranking out uh, the content. Thanks to everyone that's at least watched one of my vids. Um, make sure you're subbed for uh, more vids coming soon and I'll catch the rest of you in one of my next ones. Peace.